in this lesson, we discuss server roles in Skype for Business. Each server running Skype for Business server runs one or more server roles. A server role is a defined set of Skype for Business server functionalities provided by that server. You do not need to deploy all available server roles in your network. Install only the server roles that contain the functionality that you want. If you are not familiar with server roles in Skype for Business Server, you can use the planning tool as a guide to get the best solution for the servers that you need to deploy based on the features that you want. For most server roles, the scalability and high availability, you can deploy pools of multiple servers all running the same server role. Each server in a pool must run an identical server role or roles. For most types of pools in Skype for Business Server, you must deploy a load balancer to spread traffic between the various servers in the pool. Skype for Business Server supports both DNS load balancing and hardware load balancers. Now let's discuss the Standard Edition Server. The Standard Edition Server is designed for small organizations and for pilot projects of large organizations. It enables many of the features of Skype for Business Server, including the necessary databases to run on a single server. This enables you to have Skype for Business Server functionality at a lower cost, but does not provide a true high availability solution. The Standard Edition Server enables you to use IM, Presence, Conferencing, and Enterprise Voice all running on one server. For a high availability solution, use Skype for Business Server Enterprise Edition. Next, let's discuss front-end and back-end servers. In Skype for Business Server Enterprise Edition, the front-end server is the core server role and runs many basic Skype for Business Server functions. The front-end servers, along with the back-end servers, are the only server roles required in any Skype for Business Server Enterprise Edition deployment. A front-end pool is a set of front-end servers configured identically that work together to provide services for a common group of users. A pool of multiple servers running the same role provides scalability and failover capability. Additionally, one front-end pool in the deployment also runs the central management server, which manages and deploys basic configuration data to all servers running Skype for Business Server. The central management server also provides Skype for Business Server management shell and file transfer capabilities. The back-end servers are database servers running Microsoft SQL Server that provide the database services for the front-end pool. The back-end servers serve as backup stores for the pool users and for conference data, and they are the primary stores for other databases such as the response group database. You can have a single back-end server, but a solution that uses SQL Server mirroring SQL clustering or SQL always on is recommended for failover. Backend servers do not run any Skype for Business Server software. Now let's discuss the Edge server. Edge server enables your users to communicate and collaborate with users outside the organization's firewalls. These external users can include the organization's own users who are currently working off-site. Users from federated partner organizations and outside users who have been invited to join conferences hosted on your Skype for Business Server deployment. Edge Server also enables connectivity to public IM connectivity services, including Skype. Now let's discuss Mediation Server. The Mediation Server is a necessary component for implementing enterprise voice and dial-in conferencing. Mediation Server translates signaling and, in some configurations, media between your internal Skype for Business Server infrastructure and a PSTN gateway, IPPX, or a SIP trunk. You can run Mediation Server co-located on the same server as Front End Server or separated into a standalone Mediation Server pool. Next, we'll discuss the Director. Directors can authenticate Skype for Business Server user requests but they do not host user accounts or provide presence or conferencing services. Directors are most useful to enhance security in deployments that enable external user access. The director can authenticate requests before sending them to internal servers. In the case of denial of service attack, the attack ends with the director and does not reach the front end servers. 
Next, let's discuss Persistent Chat Server. Persistent Chat enables users to participate in multi-party, topic-based conversations that persist over time. The Persistent Chat front-end server runs the Persistent Chat service. The Persistent Chat back-end server stores the chat history data and information about categories and chat rooms. The optional Persistent Chat compliance back-end server can store the chat content and compliance events for the purpose of compliance. Lastly, let's discuss Video Interoperability Server. Skype for Business Server now allows you to integrate with certain third-party video teleconferencing systems solutions. The new server role that enables this video conferencing interoperability is the Video Interop Server, or VIS, which is currently implemented as a standalone server role available only for on-premise installations. A VIS acts as an intermediary between a third-party teleconference system and a Skype for Business server deployment. For this release, VIS is focused on interoperability with Cisco and Tanberg video systems.